Hello again. Let's continue our introductory series by further modifying our intro news app. Specifically, let's look at managing content across our screens. Let's first delete one of these screens which we don't need. I want to get rid of the video screen. To do so, I'm going to click on videos, click on the menu in the top right, and select delete. We'll see a success notification once the screen has been deleted. Now, let's add a screen. You can do so by clicking on the plus button in the top next to screens. And since this is a news app, let's add a news RSS screen. And we'll need an RSS feed, and I've got one handy here from the New York Times. So I'm going to go ahead and paste it into the website RSS feed input box and hit continue. <clears throat> And then you'll instantly see your RSS news items start to populate. And since this is a world news feed, let's go ahead and change the name of the screen. We can do so by clicking on the menu in the top right again and selecting rename. And let's call this world news and hit save. Now let's go ahead and preview this using the the preview tool within the builder by clicking on the play button in the right. It may take a few moments, but our app will load and we should see our new screen in the bottom right. So let's go ahead and click on world news in the navigation. And now we can see all of our news items from the RSS feed. Next, let's add a content item to one of our existing screens. So let's click on the new screen. And as you can tell, these news items are categorized by these categories tabs. We've got mobile web, tech giants, AI, VR. So let's go ahead and add an item to the tech giants category. Let's click on the check tech giants category tab. And let's go ahead and click on the add item button. Now to keep this simple, let's just put in some test text into these input boxes. So I'll say test title <clears throat> in the body, I'll type in test body. And let's go ahead and just skip the other items for right now and just hit add. Now our new item has been added to the tech giants category. Now, like I mentioned in the other, in the other video, since we're just modifying adding, deleting these content items, we don't have to actually restart the preview tool. We can just refresh it. So I'm going to pull down on my world news item preview over here, which will refresh our app. And let's click on news. And then let's go select, let's change our category to check giants. <clears throat> and we can see our new item here. Now let's actually add a new category to our new screen. So you can do so by clicking on the plus button and let's call this category five. We can click on the category five tab and let's add one more additional item. So let's say add item. And I'm going to just call this title, let's call it title five to match up with the category. And we'll say this is body text five. Let's scroll down and click on add. And now since this is a larger change outside of just kind of adding and modifying the individual content items, since we're actually adding a category, let's go ahead and restart the preview tool. So to do so, click on the power button up here and let's hit the play icon again. And once our app loads, if we go back to the new screen, which should be our default screen, and let's grab our category selector. We'll see our new category, category five. And here's our new content item with title five. There's nothing in here, but you can see how this works. So that's about it. It's very simple to add and modify screens and content using the Shadow Builder. In the next video, let's take a look at some of the design and layout options within the Builder to further customize the app. Stay tuned.